today I'm going to do a tear down of the uh, Eagle 56 volt lawnmower model number LM2100. What I really want to salvage from this is the uh, Eagle 56 volt DC brush motor. And I'm going to show you what it is and bench test it to see how it works and how good it is. So let's get started. First thing I do is to remove the wheel. And the wheel will come out just like that. This is actually the easiest model to remove the wheel. There are many other lawn mowers out there that use retainer ring instead of a nut like this. And it's very hard to remove those with a retainer ring. This one is very easy. Next step is to remove this plastic cover on the top here. And you got to remove six screws. So one, two, three, four, five, six. If you have an old lawnmower, most of the time these holes are usually covered in dirt and it's pretty tricky to find. Check this out. XT60 connector. My favorite. So we got this here is actually a switch. So you can see there is a little white piece of plastic that is mounted on this round bar here. And when you turn the handle, and that will turn the uh, piece of plastic will turn on the switch you hear the click that's when the switch is on next step is to remove the entire handle assembly and it has the uh, wire connecting to it and the wire goes out here and I have already disconnect the XT60 connector this it is soldered onto the switch so I'm going to have to cut the wire or desolder the wire. We got two metal plates that hold the uh, handle bar together. So we're going to have to remove these screws and all the screws on the top here. There are also four screws on the side, two here, two more in there. In order to access the two screws in there, I have to uh, remove a screw on this cover first so that I can pull it out to make room so I can get access to the two screws here. Now we can remove the entire handle. Next step we're going to remove the battery and motor housing and for that we're going to have to access from the bottom. We've got one bolt for the blades, three bolts for the motor and four bolts for the battery and motor housing. And you have to remove this bolt first and then four bolts for the housing first. And you have to do this last because once we remove these three bolts, the motor will fall out. To remove this bolt, I'm going to have to use a piece of wood here to keep the blade in place so it doesn't spin when I remove this bolt. Just like that. Both sides is half inch. This is 10 millimeter. And then the entire motor and the battery housing is going to come out. Next step is to remove the motor. And this motor comes with a plastic base here. It's attached to this base. So we're going to have to remove this plastic base first. There are four screws that hold this base together. And they are all accessible from the top only inside here. So we're going to first have to remove this plastic cover on the top here. And there are four screws. One, two, three, four. There are four screws that hold the base of the motor together. They are all inside here. We got one here one here one screw right there on the bottom and another screw on the other side which is inside that spot right there there's actually a fifth screw that hold the bottom together and that is this screw that we have to remove next step is to disconnect the cable to the motor and it is this connector again and then on this wire it also has a heat sensor wire that you just have to uh, pull it out. It's taped together to the uh, red connector here. Uh, you just have to pull it out. 
There's also a large ceramic resistor on the side here that uh, we have to cut the zip tie because it's only secured by the zip tie. Now we can just pull it out just like that. Now that we got the motor out, we're going to remove this plastic housing. There are only three bolts to hold it together. And here is what I'm after. This is the very powerful brush DC motor. Rated at 56 volt, but I think you can easily run it 100 volts. It actually has four brushes in which two brushes on the opposite sides are connected in parallel and the other black wire are connected together on opposite poles and then they all come out onto the black connector. Let's give it a try with the motor securely mounted with my clamp here got the DC brush controller and the original Ego 56 volt battery the battery is 40 about 47 volts this DC brush controller can accept up to 63 volts we got a 63 volt capacitor in here and it also has a built-in switch and throttle all in one uh, control knob here I can go real slow on this controller too. That's a pretty good controller. Let's see how many RPM we get from this motor. Yeah. 3130 RPM. I wanted to see what the maximum RPM I can get out of this controller. So I've got my 60 volt battery connected here. And the battery is full. Right now it's at 61.4 volts. About 4380 RPM. So there you have it. Ego 56 volt brush DC motor. You can basically do a lot of things with this. Electric bike, electric scooter. And I think it's best for electric go-karts. Uh, this motor I think it's one of the best first DC motor if you want to build an electric go-kart. That's all for now folks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.